Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel WD Coders. Today in this video, we will see how to implement interceptors in Angular 17. Okay, so before this, if you not seen my last video, then you need to see that video first, then you can come on this video. Okay, I have pasted URL of that video in the description box, so you can found there. Okay, so now what I am doing so first of all you need to check in the last video what i have done in the auth services i have written this function okay on logout and you can see i am passing the bearer token here okay so this will be for only for this api okay now what we I, what i need to do is if i have one more api then how we can pass the bearer token using this interceptor okay first of all i am creating one component This component I need to add in the routes also. So I am doing category component. I am adding category here. Okay. Test this one. Okay, category works. So one more services I need to create. So Category services I am creating. Okay. 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 So no problem. I mean this is this is coming in this folder, but no problem. We will add one function here. Get all category. Okay. Before this, I need to inject private http http client is http dot cat okay and i need to add one constant here so that i can use this one for the api i need to add i am adding so this is i have added okay now i need to add uh, this one here api endpoint category endpoint get all category okay so this function i have created in the service file and the same i will call here in components category component okay so here i need to call this one first of all i am adding on in it implement on init constructor in the constructor I will inject that service category service category service okay and the on init this is also I want to add get all category I am creating one separate function for this this category service get all category subscribe subscribe something is not right but i did not return oh i need to return this okay i need to add next console logo i'm putting here for getting the values okay so this function i want to call in ng on in it this get all category now you can see if i call then you can see unauthorized messing i am getting okay because authorized authorized token i am not passing here you can't see here okay so for this what i need to do is i need to create one interceptor okay interceptor just folder i need to create i am adding the name is http that also fine http okay here i need to add 
response token token service i need to inject this inject token service fine and also router also i need to add because if uh, i am getting from unauthorized from the api then i need to redirect to the login page right and i need to remove all the token uh, uh from the local storage right so now i am adding one more condition here if token services is authentication is true then uh, what i am doing but this will not be a variable i think this will be a subscription function so what i need to do is i am adding token token service is authentication dot subscribe so i am adding next value okay this is also i am adding remove this line so if we have then value is true then what i need to do is request i need to make a clone okay and i need to set the headers authorization b error okay token service dot cat token yeah this function i want to call now we can see how this will work i need to refresh this one this is not passing okay first of all we need to check uh this is calling or not uh before this i need to add in the config file this okay for this i need to add provide http client right and this i need to with interceptor this i need to add and i need to add http interceptor now we need to see yeah you can see and this this is going yeah so this is working fine so this is very important for the api so using the interceptor we can add this one okay one more condition now uh, we can add suppose uh, i am getting an authorized message from the backend and how we can how we can uh, redirect to the login page okay so we need to add the pipe here first of all then we can add the catch error e dot http error response hmm that's it okay if e dot status is uh, 401 then token services first of all i need to remove the token right and then i need to redirect navigate to the login page okay constant error or we can add error dot message e dot status e dot status text okay we are returning through error so this we need to do okay how we can test this so what you need to do is i am going to the application then here i am adding some changes like this i am removing this one uh, like this okay so if i refresh the screen then you can see right unauthorized message i am getting because this will be envelope token so now you can see this is redirecting to me on the login page okay so that's it so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, add the comment in the comment box and share the video thank you so much for watching this video